Hello, I'm Pastor Heath, and today I would like to share with you a devotional from Proverbs, chapter 6, verse 9 to 11. How long will you slumber, O sluggard? When will you rise from your sleep? A little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to sleep. So shall your poverty come on you like a prowler, and your need like an armed man. Solomon is speaking to his son about laziness. He's already told him to look at the work of the ant. But the son is unmoved by this illustration. And so now Solomon says, listen to my words. How long will you sleep in laziness? When are you going to get up and do some work? Why do you lie down again, fold your hands and continue to slumber? We all know what it's like to take a nap, maybe during the afternoon. Sometimes it's a, a necessary way to recharge and gather new strength for more work that needs to be done. My uncle was a very hard working man. He was an automobile mechanic and at work every day early. When he'd come home later in the evening, he had just enough time to grab a pillow, lie on the floor and take a nap for about an hour. And then he got up and worked around the house, helping my grandmother with whatever she needed. Cleaning, plumbing, car tune-ups, yard work. He was faithful in all his work, and anyone could trust him to get the job done. There is a big difference between sleeping so that we are recharged and ready to work, and sleeping in order to avoid work. The lazy man avoids work. He finds it easy to sleep long, get up late in the morning, and then later in the afternoon still finds time to take a long nap. And suddenly, most of the day is already spent. And what does the lazy man have to show for his work? Is he able, with a smile on his face and with a satisfying pleasure, say, here, look at what I was able to do during this day. No, he has nothing, and another day is wasted. The Holy Spirit warns the lazy man that if he does not work, poverty will come after him like a prowler. That's a word used for a lion. Think of it. A lion doesn't just wait around all day until the prey happens to walk by, accidentally bumping into the waiting lion. No, the lion is a prowler. A lion actively, aggressively hunts the prey. And she finds the prey, she chases, she doesn't give up until she catches her prey, sinks her teeth in for the kill. In the same way, the lazy man doesn't simply stumble upon poverty, no, Poverty is actively hunting the lazy man. She will find him, chase after him, until she catches him and sinks her teeth in. There is a time to sleep, and there is a time to work. Let's start by being disciplined with our sleep schedule and habits. Early to rise each morning, spending time with the Lord, asking Him for help, to have a productive day in work, in ministry, in providing for our families. Let's make the most of every opportunity God gives us every single day. And let's be able to end each day satisfied with all our labors. When will you rise from your sleep? Solomon asks. May our response be early in the morning and I'll make the most of each day. Now get to work and may God bless the work of your hands.